I just came back from the mall, did some light shopping. I really want to show you guys what I picked up today. We just got a bag, yeah. blowing money yeah. fast. Yeah. They say we yeah. won't last. Yeah. Now we popping tags. Yeah. I be drinking lean, yeah. she be drinking too. Yeah. What's going on, y'all? My name is James Raw. Thank you so much for checking out my video today. Just came back from the mall, picked up a few things. I really consider this as a light day for shopping. I really wanted to show you guys exactly what I bought today. I know it's starting to get a little bit warm, but you know what I mean? Where I'm at in Philly, it's still a little breezy. I went down to the mall today, and the first store that I went into was H&M. First of all, I love H&M. They have a lot of good clothes there for a budget. You don't really have to hurt your pockets by going to H&M. One bad thing I do have to say about H&M is that the, the clothes are not really top quality. You can get away with a couple wears, you know what I mean? You, you know, some things can last you a whole season. You got some things that can only last you up to two wears, so it depends exactly what you buy you know it's really a hit and miss store but overall i do love h&m and i do love going there the first thing that i bought from h&m was this denim jacket it has like a blue fade to it and, it and it's basically ripped one of my favorite things about this jacket is that you know i love how it feels and i love the faded look one thing one of my favorite things about jean jackets is the faded look to them you know what i mean i am like a sucker for faded jean jacket it has about six buttons split down to the middle and it also has two front pockets and it has a couple holes in the front mainly about three ripped holes in the front you know something that i do like and there's a couple holes that's in the back as well too i don't know if you guys can see it I'm right here I'm right here but the jacket does look fly to me again like i Again, like I said, I love the faded look to it. I love the sky blue. You can never go wrong with sky blue, you know what I mean, jean jackets, you know what I mean? I just fucking love it. You know, the first time I saw this coat, I was like, okay, I gotta have it. So I started, you know, I started trying it on. It, it is extra large. By the way, I am about 5'9", 175 pounds. So I would say it's about true to size. There's actually good length on the sleeves as well, too. I wanna show you guys exactly how I look. How would I dress this jacket up? When I wear jean jackets, one of my favorite things to do with jean jackets is to wear hoodies with. I love the whole jean jacket hoodie combination. It is officially spring, and I usually hate the winter time, but the one thing I will miss is the hoodie jean jacket combination, which is one thing that I love to do. You don't really have to wear a hoodie wearing jean jackets, but it's just something that I love to do personally. But I will be bringing this coat out in the spring for sure. I will make a video showing you guys how to wear jean jackets in the spring. You know, when it's a little windy outside, windy outside, you can. You are able to pull it off. It's just how you do it. This is one of my favorite pickups at H&M. This is one of my favorite jean jackets that I have in my closet, period. I just felt you just can never do wrong with a light blue jean jacket. A faded light blue jean jacket on top of that you get that jacket right now from h&m you know what i mean they also i also double checked they also had that jacket available online it cost me 60 bucks 59.99 so i think it's worth every single penny i just love that coat here goes the second thing that i actually bought today I bought this i bought this nice cotton t-shirt from h&m cost me about 17.99 one thing about this t-shirt is that i just love how it feels even though it looks looks very heavy the shirt is very light. You know I mean, you can never go wrong with a gray shirt no matter what season it is in. One of my favorite things about this shirt is that you had the neck, the neck portion, the sleeve portion, the pocket portion, also the bottom portion of the shirt has this type of rolled up type style to it, which is something that I just extremely love. I think it's very different. It's not your typical gray shirt. And I think you can get away with this shirt in the spring. So I'm actually getting ready to do some spring shopping. And this shirt is actually perfect for the spring. And in the back of the shirt, it has like a split down the middle of the back of the shirt. It's not anything too crazy. But, you know, it just gives the shirt, I guess, a little more flair to it. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's, it's, it's something that I like. I, I think it doesn't mess up the shirt whatsoever. But something that looks very really cool to me but you know i've always been a fan of shirts with half front pockets in them. i don't know why but it just you know what i mean it, it it just it just brings the basic shirt to a different level which one thing that i love so 
this shirt is basically A plus to me and it fits really good. And I will be rocking this. I'll be playing on rocking this multiple times this year. Last but not least, I went to the Steve Madden store, one of my favorite footwear stores ever. I just love Steve Madden. They're like, they're like high designer footwear on a budget, you know what I mean? Because I don't have $2,000 to spend on some Balenciaga shoes. <laughs> but Steve Madden, one of my favorite stores ever. Just love Steve Madden. I got these black leather high top sneakers with gold zippers. I just love how the sneaker looks. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you know what I mean? The lace are pretty sturdy. The laces are pretty, pretty thick, which is something I love. And the zipper goes from the top almost to the front of the sneaker, which is pretty dope. And it has stitching in the back half of the sneaker, which is pretty dope. Pretty, pretty, pretty high quality. And with the man-made bottom sole, which is pretty plain. It's all black sole, which is pretty dope. I don't think you can ever go wrong with these sneakers. These are like budget designer sneakers. These sneakers retail, from what the lady told me, they were about $200. I actually got these sneakers for $89.99. So as soon as she told me that, it was a wrap. I just had to buy these sneakers. But these sneakers are absolutely gorgeous. And I will be wearing these a lot when I go out. <laughs> but there you have it. That's everything that I bought today from the mall. It was, I wouldn't really consider this a big haul. It was something real light, but I still wanted to show you guys out there because there's a lot of clothes that you could get on sale around this time. You don't have to wait until Black Friday or some holiday that pops up. There's a lot of awesome stuff out there. Thank you guys so much for checking out my video. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. Make sure you follow me on Instagram for the latest fashion news, the latest music news, the latest everything. Give your boy a follow. Thank you so much. You guys have a good day. Uh. My girl, Lord, she be curving all you niggas. Pull up in the mozzie, we be swerving all you niggas. If I ain't fucking with you, she ain't fucking with you neither. She get it on her own by herself. She a diva. That's my, that's my, that's my bad, Lord John. That's my, that's my, that's my bad, Lord John. That's my, that's my.